Good evening. Well, look like all the playoff games are over. The NFC and the AFC championship games are set. But before we go any further, I want to say thank you to all of you that have subscribed to my channel and viewed my channel and commented. It means a lot to me because I'm trying to start this channel up and it's a lot more difficult than I thought. <laughs> it's not It's not really that simple. And uh, I have a good support system that have rallied behind me and supported me. And I'm going to start shouting you out. But um, in the meantime, I just want to give a blanket thank you to those of you that have supported me and my efforts and my and my dreams to bring uh, this cowboy information, this NFL information to you. So again, I appreciate it. Back to these games. All year. I heard these pundits laughing and giggling and being silly, saying the Cowboys don't play anyone. They play in the worst division in football because they play the Washington team twice. They play the Philadelphia Eagles twice. They play the New York Giants twice. Okay, I, I'll admit, those are not world beaters. But maybe the same thing applies to Green Bay. They played Detroit twice. They played Chicago Bears twice. They played the Minnesota Vikings twice. Two of those three teams lost their head coach. The third of those teams lost their head coach last year. Okay. Not enough proof. Tampa Bay played the Atlanta Falcons twice. They played the Carolina Panthers twice. They play the New Orleans Saints twice every year and this past year. They were beating up on weak teams also. What about Tennessee? They get the chance to play the Texans twice. They get to play the Jaguars twice. And they play the Indianapolis Colts twice. So where's the strength in their division? You see, you could take these same arguments that these people are making against the Cowboys and keep the Cowboys in their mouth, and you could apply it where you want. It just happened to be that these three teams I just mentioned lost this week. Now, it's something to playing in a strong division, maybe. I guess when you play on a strong division, iron sharpens iron. By the time the playoffs come, you're hardened. You run into problems in the playoffs and it doesn't bother you. Because you, you've seen that. You, you had the best competition. You're playing the teams in your division twice. And if you have a strong division, you have no choice but to come out of it strong. And maybe that's why the 49ers and the Rams are left standing in the NFC. And maybe that's why Cincinnati is one of the teams over in the AFC.
you go against strong competition and you can't help but get better. You play against cream puffs. And yeah, I think it had a, it has an adverse effect on you. You don't know how to come out with that same intensity that you need for the playoffs. The 49ers not only played in a tough division, but they had to go through that division in order to make it to the playoffs. They're hardened. And I guess the Rams too. So here we are. The 49ers and the Rams. The winner go to the Super Bowl. So it's something to that. But I want the pundits to acknowledge that the three teams I mentioned, Tennessee, Tampa Bay, Green Bay, they were beating up on weak teams also. What's good for the Cowboys is good for everyone else. We can use that same narrative. Green Bay, who did you beat? We know that you beat the Cleveland Browns because they were just stupid enough to quit running when they were running all over you. We know you beat the, the Baltimore Ravens when they were stupid enough to, to run a two-point conversion instead of or a field goal to take it into overtime against you. You've gotten by two. And Tampa Bay, didn't you almost lose to the New York Jets? And you weren't resting your players. Didn't you lose nine to nothing to the New Orleans Saints? Nine to nothing. You got blanked. In Tennessee, you lost to the Jets and you lost to the Texans. You lost to two of the three worst teams in the league. But you don't hear the pundits talking about you guys beating up on the easy schedule. So it's something to it. I get it. I get it. The Cowboys of the 90s came out of probably the strongest division of all time. If they're not, I'll argue that they're definitely one of the strongest divisions of all time. When the Cowboys won the Super Bowl in 1992, 91 and 90 were Super Bowls were won by NFC East teams. The Washington Redskins won it the year before in 91. The New York Giants won it the year before that in 1990. So the decade of the 90s started out with the first four years, Super Bowl winners being from the NFC East. One by the New York Giants, one by the Washington Redskins, and two by the Dallas Cowboys. And the fourth team, the Philadelphia Eagles, those are probably the best Philadelphia Eagles teams that they ever had, including the Super Bowl they had recently. Those teams had Reggie White, Jerome Brown, Randall Cunningham, Ricky Waters. Man, they had a squad over there at the early 90s. And if it wasn't for the fact that they played in such a tough division, maybe they would have been to the playoffs more and maybe gone to a Super Bowl. That's how tough the NFC East was. So by the time the Cowboys got to the playoffs, it was they were playing nothing, nobody. Because two things, they were playing each other in practice, and that's the best competition they could have against each other. And they were playing that tough division schedule when they playing those guys twice each. And I'm going to say something. 
I know I said the Washington Redskins and the New York Giants, but the Cowboys' toughest games back then were against the Eagles. Those Eagle teams were, man, they, they prepped the Cowboys for the playoffs. So by the time the Cowboys got to the playoffs, that was nothing. So it's something to playing against tough opponents in your division twice a year. The Cowboys teams of the 70s and early 80s, they had tough competition. The Washington Redskins were strong. At various times, the St. Louis Cardinals were strong, especially in the late 70s. Have you guys ever heard of uh, O.J. Anderson? Pat Twilly? Mel Gray? Those were tough St. Louis teams. And by the time the 80s came around, the early 80s, Philadelphia was strong once they had Dick, Dermil, uh, Dick Vermeil. The New York Giants became strong once they, they drafted Lawrence Taylor. So the Cowboys always been a part of a strong division. So it's something to playing strong competition throughout the year. By the time the playoffs come, you're ready to rock and roll. The 49ers had to go through Arizona twice. They had to go through Seattle twice. They had to go through the Rams twice. And the Rams had to do the same. Here they are. Now, to counteract my theory I just laid, what about the New England Patriots of the 2000s? They played in probably the worst division ever. By the way, the pundits did never brought up the fact that they were beating up on, on weak sisters. But those Jets teams were terrible. And New England played them twice. Those Miami teams were terrible. They played them twice. Those Buffalo Bills teams were terrible. Played them twice. In fact, it got to the point when New England, you just pistoled them into the playoffs. They were going to win their division at the beginning of the year. It was a matter of if they're going to go undefeated in their division. And somehow they always seem to lose at Miami. I don't know how that was. But somehow they always seem to lose at Miami. But by then they don't want the, the division. They only lost one game. So that's two theories. The pundits never talked about New England playing a soft set schedule or having a soft division. I think that's only designated for the Dallas Cowboys. That kind of talk is designated for the boys, unfortunately. But that's what haters would do. But I want to give you a factoid. Didn't you know that the last six times the Dallas Cowboys and then 49ers played in the playoffs, the winner went on to the Super Bowl. Again, didn't you know that the last six times the 49ers and the Cowboys played in the playoffs, the winner went on to the Super Bowl? Wow. If that pattern continues, the 49ers look like they have a good chance next week. And I think they'll beat the Rams. So I think it's going to be seven times. 
Now, full disclosure, those six times that they played, they were all NFC Championship games. They played three NFC Championship games in the 90s. They played an NFC Championship game in the 80s. And they played two more in the 70s. And each winner went on, of course, to the Super Bowl. So that is an interesting factoid about the Cowboys and the 49ers. I think they have a good luck charm on their side, but I'm not holding my breath. To be honest, I don't want the 49ers to win a Super Bowl because that would make them have number six. And the Steelers already have number six, and we're still chasing number six. And I think that's part of my frustration, my frustration with the Cowboys because we're stuck on five. There's a race to get more Super Bowls. And right now, the Cowboys are not leading the pack like they were. So I just want to throw those things out there for you and ponder what I spoke about and listen to the narrative. Let's see if they're going to, if these so-called experts on ESPN and Fox and NFL Network are going to say, you know what? I think they had a weak schedule. I think they just beat up on weak teams and they could not handle the playoffs. I'm curious about what they're going to say. But until next time, you all take care. Peace.